All right, what we're going to do today is look at the VLOOKUP function. And the VLOOKUP function, it just stands for vertical lookup. But think of it as, you know, um, suppose you worked at a store and you're like, hey, I have this pair of shoes. What's the price? The VLOOKUP function will say, hey, if you have this pair of shoes, this is what the price is. So the VLOOKUP returns a value based on some characteristic or some other value. Uh, and in this case, I've given my class uh, numbers 1 through 11, and they're their names, and I put them in groups as well. And the VLOOKUP function works like this. Um, first, let's generate a random number. So I'm going to say equals rand between left parenthesis uh, 1 comma 11. This will generate a random number from 1 to 11. And just keep in mind, every time you change something on your spreadsheet, it generates a new random number. All right, so every time you refreshed your page, it would generate a new random number. Um, or if you pressed Control R, it'll generate a new random number. Um, okay, so I have this random number generated, but that's not enough because I don't know which kid that is. I, what I want is if that number comes up, I want the next cell to say, hey, that number six is Molly. So the way we do that is we're going to look up the number six and return Molly. We're going to use equals V lookup for vertical because this data is going up and down, right? VLOOKUP. And the first part of VLOOKUP asks me for, what am I going to look up? And I'm going to look up this number six. The second part says, OK, where do you want me to look for this number six? In what range of values? And in this case, it's going to be, I'm going to highlight columns A, B, and C. And this is important. Although we're only looking up six in this first column, I need to highlight all of my data because the next part of this says, OK, what do you want me to return? And the way this works, this index, your first column of data is column number one. The second one is two. The third one is three, and then four, and five, and so forth. So in this case, when you look up the number six over here, I want you to return whatever's in the second column. So I'm going to put the number two there, close my parentheses. Now, when I hit enter, this six is probably going to change to something else, uh, but we should be able to see this works. All right, yeah, so this six changed to a five, but now whenever I look at the number five, Sarah's name appears. All right, and I can refresh this, and now it's an 11, and Sam appears. But what if I wanted to, instead of the name appearing, what if I wanted the group to appear? Well, this function is going to look the exact same, except when I highlight these three columns, I don't want to return the second column. I want to return the third one. All right, so close your parentheses and hit enter. And now I have the number seven, which is Gina, which who she's on the red Jaguars. All right, so that's how you can use VLOOKUP. Um, one other way you could use it if you wanted to, you could actually nest the um, random number inside of the function. So instead of having the number generated, you could put it inside of here, rand between one comma 10. All right, that would work as well. Um, but either way, 